Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Razor Pay to Wix website in 2023. So Razor Pay is a popular payment gateway that allows businesses to accept online payments securely and efficiently. Integrating Razor Pay with your Wix website will enable you to offer your customers a seamless payment experience. So let's dive right into the process of setting up this integration and start accepting payments with ease. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the brief browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go and sign up for a Razor Pay account. So if you don't have already a Razor Pay account, head over to the Razor Pay website and sign up for a free account. Razor Pay provides the various payment solutions tailored to your business needs. So go to this URL section. Simply, you'll have to type razorpay.com and hit the enter button. That should take you to the home screen or main screen of Razor Pay right away. If you have an account, you can always go and click at login into that account. And if you don't have an account, you can simply go and click on sign up instead. As an example, so let's just wait. Port page and set loads. And as you can see here, you can go and connect your account or create your account. Of course, on logging in, you'll be able to connect with Google because this will prevent you from doing a lot of boring steps with logging in into your account. So for me, just click on continue with Google, choose my account, click on confirm. And yeah, create a new account with this because I don't have an account yet. And let's just wait for this until close. In the meanwhile, let's just go and log in into our Wix account. So open a new tab, go to wix.com, click on the enter button. If you have an account, of course, on Wix, again, log in into it. But if you don't, you'll have to go and create an account for yourself. And you'll normally find yourself on the dashboard of Wix website after you've logged in into your account. From here, as an example, you'll have to navigate to the Wix editor. As an example, I'm just going to click on this pin of one of my websites here. Just check here. So individual business, uh, your full name, as an example, I'm just going to type sister96 and some numbers here. Don't get updates. Okay, so let me just go with sister, uh, sister O. So the number I'm just going to put like random things. Um, okay, this number is not good. Let me just get another number as example. So just do this and let's see. Okay, it's the same. So simply for you, make sure to add uh, some accurate number for me. I'm not going to enter on my number here because like it seems like it's not even working. So, or never mind, they actually like uh, accepted my number. So here you can see new business onboarding is simply post. So we don't care about this. We What we care about is that we have an account. So now once we log into our uh, Wix account and access the editor or the Wix editor, we will have to go and click or access the Wix app market. So go to this list panel, go to add apps. And here, as you can see, Wix app markets. Here on the search app, we'll simply have to search for uh, the Razor Pay. So go here, type Razor Pay, and hit the enter button. And here, of course, as you can see, you find this app. So you can go and check the one that suits your need. Once you do so, make sure if it's a free to install, if it offers free trial, if it's paid, as you can see. So simply go and access that and install it install the browser pay app or whatever app you found there then simply go and connect your browser pay to wix website they'll ask you to simply enter your credentials on browser pay that's provided here once you do so of course once you connected your browser pay to wix so after installing like the browser pay uh, follow the prompt to connect your browser pay account for your wix website and you will need to authorize the integration and provide some necessary permissions after that, of course, you will have to configure like the payment settings depending on whatever suits you. So once the connection is established, configure your payment settings in the Wix dashboard. You can set your preferred currency, enable tax and shipping option, and even customize the payment confirmation page depending on whatever you want. 
after that you'll have to go and test the integration so before going live conduct a test transaction on your wix websites using the browser pay as a payment gateway then verify that the payments process is smooth and error free after that of course you will simply have to publish your wix websites if everything is good you can simply preview everything so as i said test it and preview if it's working click on everything see if everything is working if it is make sure to simply publish it so scroll down find the the page where you added the browser pay click on it see if it's working as i said test it then simply go and click on publish once it's published of course you'll have to publish your website so it will be published on this url you can change the url if you want on wix i've already make a video on how to do that before so you can go and check it out and of course after successfully testing and configuring it's time to go live as i've said so publish your wix website to make browser pay payments option available to your customers and you will normally be good to go so after that you'll be able to monitor and manage your transactions so once your browser pay integration is live you can easily monitor and manage transactions through the browser pay dashboard keep track of sales view payment details and gain valuable insights as you can see from here so uh, here you'll find the home transactions settlements report so here in the home screen you'll find like the insights all the insights that you want you can find here even the transactions that gets into your browser pay you'll find as you can see for now there's no uh, payments found for the selected duration and criteria so through the duration there's no payments but of course if anyone pay through browser pay you will find the payments here and of course here funds the settlements as you can see the reports even here the account settings if you want to edit anything that is not matching what you want and you will normally be good to go and even as an example if you didn't like if the app is did not work for you on wix websites it's not going to be a big problem you can always go back here go to this list panel as you can see you'll find browser pay me dot link uh, dot me link click on it and as you can see they'll provide you with a link simply go and click on get started and finally will provide uh, provide you with a link you can go here and simply go and add it to your wix website and from that link people will be able to pay you but of course this will require some conversation uh, between uh, the seller and buyer so you will you will have to go and check if the payment has been made and then confirm the sale uh, but of course you will be able to do that automatically with some bots that you can uh, go and search about because there are a lot of uh, options or, or ai options that can do that for you at the moment because the ai is invented and make make it easy or life easy for us so that's gonna be it if you reached this point of this video congratulations you've successfully connected the browser pay to your wix website in 2023 with the browser pay integrated you can now offer your customers a secure and seamless payments experience stay on top of your e-commerce game and provide the smooth checkout process of your customers so happy selling on your wix website and browser pay and if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below subscribe for our channel for more helpful tutorial like this one and of course i'll see you in the next video